Okay, I'm back guys. So this is part two of the Street Fighter 4 custom mod manager. So in here we will look at how we can add manually add color files, costume files or VFX files for visual effects and how we can apply them even in game okay by using alt tab or by using the game in the window state but without using custom mod switcher it's the voice synthesizer feature that I've added okay so first off let's launch Street Fighter 4 okay this can become a little slow this is not a supercomputer so and I'm recording the screen and everything let's see Street Fighter, Street Fighter 4 logging in okay now let's go to training mode and here they are now let's select Ryu and Chun and as you can see these are the regular costumes okay now let's pause it and let's do some modding so first off you need to get mods okay so if you go to the Street Fighter 4 mods uh, website okay um, uh, they have a uh, lots and lots on the on the the Street Fighter 4 mods website that is uh, part of the show you can forum they have lots and lots of great mods so go go check that out and um, these mods are all from there so uh, for this tutorial I've prepared three uh, three directories um, not all for this but this directory basically has uh, zip costumes okay of Ryu and Chun these are unzipped versions so these these are the the actual files and the mixed directory basically is to show you later on in part 3 that you can bulk import um, files uh, from different characters with any uh, directory um, with any directory structure that you have but this will be for later on so right now we need the unzipped ones okay so basically when you get a costume uh, like like the black and white gi okay here it is it's, here's a how it looks it's a great costume great mod uh, and basically this costume here just by looking at at the the file description uh, this is a costume that uses the um, the normal costume of uh, Ryu okay so this mod is a color mod this mod is a color mod because the only file that uh, he, he will be changing its color one of Ryu uh, and basically what he does is that he uses he uses the the bump maps from the from the costume file okay the costume file is like the 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 base of the of of the entire costume and then you add color uh, on top of it okay so you have the same costume file with 10 colors added on top of it so this will use the normal costume file and this will add color to it what color these colors okay but this is the normal costume okay it's not the the whole shredded uh, uh, alternate uh, costume file <clears throat> okay so a mod basically can have three files it's the costume file per se let me open the Capcom character directory here it is so it Ryu okay so a mod can have th 
three up to three files so uh, it can change your base costume file it can change only one of the colors to be applied to a specific costume file or it can change the visual effects file uh, and this file is global so when you change the visual effects no matter what costume you you are on it will always apply this these visual effects but custom mod manager allows you to apply different visual effects for different costumes and I'll, I'll get to that uh, so uh, basically you can have a mod of just a costume file just a color file just a VFX file or any combination of the three okay so you can have a mod that has a costume a color and a VFX file it has all three because the 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 creator of the costume uh, uh, of the mod created a specific costume file created a specific color file to be used with his specific costume file and created a VFX file okay well in this case our mod is just a color file okay here's another one the Satsui no Hado uh, in this case we have a mod that is composed of two files okay we have a color file to be uh, used in conjunction with the normal costume file okay here's the 01 referencing the normal costume file and we have a VFX file if I'm not mistaken this is the mod that uses that pink uh, fireball and in Chun I think I have an example here it is so the the makeup uh, uh, mod it has two files as a, a, a costume file and a color file so this color file uh, has to be used in uh, conjunction with this costume file in order for the mod to work as expected okay so let's apply some of these so let's launch custom mod manager Here it is, and uh, let's apply. I don't know. Let me see. Okay, so here I have my unzip files. Let's apply this black and white gi uh, costume mod. So this is a mod that only has a color file. So let's go to the color file manager and add that. So it's a Ryu, okay, and I'll add a new color. Okay, so where is the color file? Well, the color file is in this directory here, that's on my desktop, so browse. Oh, here it is. So if I went to desktop, I have Street Fighter 4 costume mods, costumes, unzipped, Ryu, black and white gi, here it is. I click it open okay now I'm going to click the read file info and Street Fighter 4 custom mod manager will process the file and tell us something else about it so he's telling me that this is in fact a costume for Ryu it's based on the normal costume this is because uh, this color is to be applied to the normal costume and not to the alternate okay uh, it will be on slot 1 slot 1 out of 10 slots for colors and it's not compressed it's an EMB file because uh, in fact the, uh, uh, although this comes with an EMZ extension uh, in fact this uh, is unzipped already internally so this is an EMB file but uh, you don't really have to worry about this this is too too technical so just forget about it you just have to know that this is in fact a costume for Ryu and it's based on the normal costume file so it needs the normal costume file in order to apply this color over it okay and uh, it, this is the original slot but don't bother with the slots because Street Fighter 4 custom mod manager will uh, change every file in order to be used with slot 1 everything uh, and that is for simplification purposes okay 
So uh, I can click details, okay, and you can give me more details about the uh, the, the file, the the inner file. So uh, it's a good file integrity, so it's the everything okay with the file, and now I can add a preview to it, so um, so that I can see a preview of it here when I'm selecting the files. So I have a preview of it right here, so I can click preview and select the picture. Open, okay. If I click it two times, it will open the Windows Photo Viewer or the application that is registered to open your image files and give you a bigger preview. Now, here, after you've uh, pressed Read File Info, you will notice that you have uh, Step 2 and Step 3 because a mod has three parts. It has the color file that we selected, it has a costume file that is the base of the mod, so the color will be applied to a costume, and it has the VFX file, it's the visual effects file. So it's the combination of these three elements that uh, produces uh, a costume mod. Okay, so uh, this we know this mod is to be applied to costume one. Okay, it's a normal costume, so I'll keep that selected, the costume one. If this said alternate costume, it would automatically select this one. Okay, for you, so you don't have to do this. But if you want to be able to change it, okay, I give you that possibility. But. Uh, Usually you just add it the way it is and it will select the correct costume file for you. Uh, this meaning that these mods are typically mods based on uh, normal costume or alternate costume. But uh, you can have mods, as I, as I said, that are based on neither on, uh, on normal nor alternate. Okay. Uh, and the VFX file Rio only has one, it's the blue fireball, so we'll keep that. And now we can name it. So I can. Uh, cool costume. So if I want to check how this will sound on the voice synthesizer, I can before I add it. So let's see how this sounds. Cool costume. Okay, cool costume. Okay. So I can add the color. Uh, he will automatically convert the um, convert the, the the name into everything uppercase, so it won't be uh, name clashing uh, issues. Is this okay? Yes, it is. Cool costume successfully added. It's not just for name clashing issues. Is because I use I don't have any uh, database inside my program. I use the actual directory structure as my database so this allows anyone that hasn't used the costume mod manager to just uh, launch the program and use whatever costumes they have already installed with the program without having to uh, save any data in, a, in a, an internal database but well but that uh, again is technicality you don't need that okay now so in Ryu, we have the normal costume, the alternate costume, and the cool costume, the new that we have applied, uh, that we have added. Now, so this is how you add uh, costumes. Now, how can we apply them to the game? Well, right now, in the game, here it is, we have the normal costume with color 1 applied. Okay. Now I want to apply the cool costume. So I can apply it either to normal costume or to alternate costume. Okay. If you apply it to normal, uh, when you select the normal costume, the cool costume will appear. If you apply to alternate, you have to select uh, you you have to have paid for the for the costume selection or you have to use the the costume toggler but I just use it every time to normal uh, you will only need the normal and alternate uh, alternatives 
if you want to play like a friend of yours uh, with Ryu and one is using the normal costume and the other is using the alternate one. Now, let's apply cool costume to the normal. Okay, so it's applied. Now, I can go back to Street Fighter and the reason why it hasn't changed is because the f the um, the costume is cached in the process memory, okay? But as soon as I go back to character selection, okay, the cache is released, and now if I select Ryu and Chun, if everything goes well, the new cool costume will appear instead. And here it is. Okay, so this is how you change. This is how you change costumes. Now I want to get back to uh, the original one. So I want color file one apply to normal. Yes, applied. Go back to the game. Go back to character change. So that's for you and Chun again. And. Here it is, back to normal. Now, I can also use this. Uh, some people have been asking me, oh, the, the costume toggler isn't working, so the costume toggler allows you to select the alternate uh, costume instead of the normal, but remember, the alternate costume is a costume, like any other. So, I can pick the alternate costume and apply it to the normal slot. Now, if I go back and select the normal slot of Ryu, the alternate costume appears. Sorry about that, had to go and answer my phone. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Um, so, uh, as you can see, you can use his alternate costume just as any other costume. So, you actually won't need the, the costume toggler uh, unless you want to use different costumes uh, for Ryu and you have uh, two players uh, playing Ryu versus Ryu. Uh, in that circumstance, you will need the alternate costume toggler, so you you so you will be able to select the the normal slot for player one and the alternate slot for player two, and that way you can use two different costumes uh, when you're battling it out at versus with the same character. Okay, now what else do we have here? So let's return to the original one. Okay. Check if the original one is already applied. Here it is. Now, so these are the color file managers. Okay, uh, these this is the color file manager, and these are the the, the color files that are the main files for you to select because when you select the color file. Actually, you're selecting the whole package. Uh, now, uh, as I said, when we are uh, adding a, a new costume, a new costume mod, let's edit the color. When you're ad adding a new costume mod, you have a color file, a costume file, and a VFX file. So, uh, imagine we want to add the mod that has, like the Satsui no Hado, uh, so it has a color file, it relies on the normal costume file, the O1 costume file, but it supplies a different visual effects file. So first let's go to the VFX manager and add this file to Ryu. Let's go to Ryu. So he only has the original VFX file which are the, the blue fireballs and let's add a new VFX file. Let's browse for it. So it's in the Satsui no Hado, and here it is. Open. 
read file info okay so it's uh, for review and it's not compressed let's give it a short description so it's the uh, other fireball check name yes okay it was added so now we have two VFX files we have the original and the other one now let's add this color file in this mod the Satsui no Haro and we'll select this VFX file instead of the normal one so let's go to color file manager add a new color to Ryu let's browse for it so it's in the uh, Satsui no Haro and select the color file read file info so this is for you it uh, applies over the normal costume and uh, it was meant for slot 3 but Street Fighter 4 custom mod manager as I mentioned will convert this to slot 1 we have a preview no we haven't uh, the costume file is the normal one so as he knows it's the normal one he already selected it and here in the VFX file so I can use this mod with the normal fireball or with the other fireball okay let's try it like the author of the mod wanted so with the other fireball and the short description it's Satsui let's check the voice synthesizer Satsui. Satsui. okay good enough add the color yes okay now we have cool costume, original one, original two, and the Satsui. So let's apply this one to the normal slot. And now let's go back to the game and select Ryu again. <laughs> and here it is. So this is the color file and this is the VFX file, so it's pinkish. Now, if you want, you can edit the Satsui color uh, to use the original VFX file instead of the other one. So I can click on original VFX file, change color, okay, and apply it again. Now I can go to the character selection screen, pick Ryu again, and the color is the same, but the VFX file is the original one, with the fireball in blue. Now, I don't recommend you using... Uh, like different costume files with uh, with the the with color files that weren't meant to be used with them because you can crash the game but that's on your part so if you want to do it go ahead and knock yourself out now um, so same thing uh, uh, this is the way to add VFX files and uh, the costume file manager is the same thing for costume files so I have a costume for Chun Li that I showed you earlier the makeup one okay that uh, has a color file to be applied over this specific costume file that is different from the the normal or the original ones so first let's go to costume file manager and go to Chun Li and add a new costume file so here's the normal here's the alternate and now we want to add this third one add new costume I'll browse for it Chun Li makeup costume open read file info so it's for Chun Li it says here it's the normal costume but uh, that's only because it has an 01 in there so the author could uh, could have uh, picked the normal costume and altered it. So let's see here. I'll put third costume. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, so I have three costumes for Chen Li. Now I'll add this color file. Color file manager, Chen Li, add new color. I'll browse for the color. And here it is, makeup, open. Read file info, okay. And um, so this tells you that this color is to be used with the normal costume. So he selects the normal costume. But we know that this mod already um, brought a costume file of its own. So we'll select that. It's the third costume. And the VFX is the original VFX because this, uh, this mod didn't bring any special VFX. So let's give it a name. Uh, make up costume. Let's check the voice synthesizer. Make up costume. Okay, and add it. Okay, and here we go. Now we can apply this to the normal slot of Chen Li. Apply yes. Let's apply it and let's go see how it looks. Character change. And here it is. Okay. So this is basically how you manually add color files, costume files, and VFX files. And inside color files, you can reference what costume files you want to use and what VFX files you want to use. Okay. Um, don't forget, you can edit them and change them afterwards and don't forget also that uh, you can change VFX files all you want but I don't recommend you changing costume files uh, inside the color file because the color file was specifically designed to be added to a costume file and sometimes your uh, program your program sorry Street Fighter 4 can crash uh, sometimes it will just produce uh, really funny looking uh, silly graphics so uh, it's up to you to use it uh, as you wish but my recommendation stays the same now um, what else do I want to talk here oh yes okay uh, no, I can leave it to to the other part. So I think that wraps it up. Oh, yes, yes, that wraps it up. Okay, uh, and we are going at this for 27 minutes. So this is part two of the tutorial. I told you it was big. Uh, so next up, part three, uh, how to make your life simpler and just import zip files instead of having to go uh, to all of this trouble okay so i'll see you guys in part three